All this storefront is new. A storefront in Brooklyn is a world away from the Park Avenue law firm where Saratu Nofziger lost her job last year. Most of our clients were banks. So the banks weren't doing any legal work and the, that means the law firms had to do layoffs. The Harvard-educated lawyer struggled to find work in the recession. So I started thinking, well, let me make my own job. I want to be my own boss anyway. I don't want someone else giving me a pink slip. So she took a bold step. Cash or charge. Leaving her Ivy League career to take a chance on a small business in her own Bedford-Stuyvesant community, the Tin City Drug and General Store. We were trying to create kind of an upscale convenience store, drug store. There's a soda fountain with organic ice cream, fruit, and foods from local vendors. It's a bright spot on the block for families. You might think that opening up a general store that sells specialty items and organic goods in a neighborhood with a rough reputation would be a bad investment. But Suratu saw a need. It's working. I mean, people come in here and they keep on telling us, we really appreciate the store. We're so glad you're here. It did take time and money to get up and running. The space was a mess and no bank would give Suratu a loan. She cashed in her retirement fund and convinced her family and friends to invest. Yeah, it's scary because once you make up your mind to do something and then you start doing it and you're convincing other people to give you money, you have to believe your own story. <laughs> she takes pride in Tin City, a nickname for her hometown in Nigeria, and she's relieved to be her own boss. Manuel Gallegas, CBS News, Brooklyn.